Sorry I'm late, Ada. We've been having briefings from the Home Office. Police are concerned about the effect of the crash in industrial areas. Ah. Uh, Everything all right? Yeah, fine. We lost money in New York, so I've been up late. Your brother been busy? Uh, he's had two meetings with Mr. Sharpurji Sakrat Lava, former communist MP of Battersea. He's been approached by an anarchist group in Warsaw. He's setting up a meeting. And there's talk of a mass walkout of bus drivers, Nottingham and Derby, uh, organised by two communist conveners not formally known to Special Branch. He's also had a telephone conversation with Jesse Eden, who is organising a committee to resist wage cuts across the city. But he'll report more when he sees her. It's all in there, though. Names and everything. I heard he had the Labour benches roaring approval in the house today. Yeah. If only he meant it, he'd be dangerous. Didn't know you drank stout, Ada. I thought it was gin. Times are hard. Hmm. Exactly how much did you lose? Don't worry about it. Tommy has a plan. He thinks that we can turn the collapse of the stock exchange to our advantage. He says, when others retreat, you advance. He says we can wave cash in the faces of desperate men. Tell your brother from me, he's doing excellent work. I'm told two more military contracts for vehicles and parts for the army in India are on their way to him. <laughs>